This is the Miz, and I'm back with another uh, tutorial on making selection series. This series is a uh, uh, at the request of somebody on the uh, Microsoft Group forum that said that I'd like to learn uh, on di different methods of uh, making selections. So I'm about to show you uh, another method of making selections. Uh, we all know that you can uh, use the uh, the magic wand tool. Uh, you got the magic uh, uh, quick selection tool. You can use the uh, magic eraser. You got the pen tool. You've got the uh, magnetic lasso. Um, all these different methods of uh, of making selections. Um, this is uh, next to the uh, pen tool. This is probably the most accurate way of uh, doing a a selection with the least amount of trouble. It's a very rare technique, and I guarantee you'll never you'll never read this in a book or see it anywhere on the internet. At least, not to my knowledge, I've never seen this technique demonstrated anywhere uh, in the ten years that I've been using Photoshop. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll bring in my layers palette so you all can see that, and I'm going to make a duplicate copy of the uh, background layer. So I'll hold down Control and the, hit the letter J. And that'll place a background copy right above the, the original background. Now, what, I, what I'm going to do now next is go into the channels palette. And we'll see that we have the red, the green, and the blue. Um, what we want to do is determine which, one, which of these three channels will give us the highest contrast between the background and the fish. So we'll try the first one is blue. Not very much of contrast there. Uh, green is a little bit better, and red is the best. There's a lot of contrast between the the black and the fish. Okay, so we're going to duplicate that red channel by dragging it down to create a new channel icon right down here. And it's made a copy uh, of the uh, red channel. Okay, now let me move this out of the way here for a second and go to my brush tool. And um, I'm going to use the brush tool for this particular method. I'm going to resize my brush right there. And I'm going to go up to the blending mode for the brushes. And we're going to change this from normal to overlay. Now what this will do is when I first click on the fish, it's going to select the gray area. And Photoshop's going to remember that particular shade of gray when I click on when I when I continue to click on the brush so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on an area of gray that I want to get rid of and as I continue to brush I'm going to continue to hold down the left mouse key I'm not going to let up uh, the mouse key until I'm done so whatever color gray that I click on first Photoshop is going to erase just that shade of gray. So I click on, I still have my uh, mouse key being held down, and I'm going to erase everything that was that shade of gray. Okay. Eventually what we want to do is we want to wind up with a white fish. So now I'm going to go into the next shade of gray, which is this area right around here. I click on it, hold down the continue to hold the mouse key down, and just paint that shade of gray away. And that's because we're in the overlay mode that this is working. Okay, I think I've got just about everything there. There's just a little bit more right here oops right in here so let me get my brush down a little bit more and now that'll take care of everything I think get rid of all the gray and so there's still some gray over here watch what happens to the eye the only thing that won't get rid of is pure black It'll get rid of everything that's a shade of gray. So here we'll click on it again, and again, and again, and again, until all we have is pure black. And 
it's very easy to get rid of the pure black. What we'll do is we'll, we'll keep our brush and just come up to the uh, blending modes up here and go back down into normal. And now we can just paint paint the uh, um, the eye away. So I've got a pretty good uh, selection uh, mask here for, uh, for for the fish. So let me bring in the layer, uh, channel palette again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key and I'll click on the uh, the, the white fish uh, icon in the uh, red copy of the channel. And that puts selection around our uh, white fish here. So now I need to go back into the RGB channel. I just click on RGB, go back into my layers. And now I'm going to bring the, the orange fish onto its own layer by holding down control and the letter J. And there is our fish on its own layer. Now if you wanted to, uh, and I'm sure you might, you, you, we're going to create a layer just below that and we're going to fill this layer with white. And there is our fish. Very well selected and I couldn't have did better with the pen tool, no way, no how. Excellent, excellent. Now, to fine tune this, I'll just go one one more step. You can stop it right here because this is fine right here. But what I could, what I like to do sometimes is just to feather the uh, the edges, just in case you know if it looks a little too sharp or, uh, around the edges here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll click on the on the uh, fish, and I'll go up here to select, modify and then contract and I think we're going to contract this only about one pixel okay then I'll go back up again to the select modify and feather and we're going to feather by one pixel okay let me get up here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert that selection I'm going to hold down control shift and the letter I and that inverts that selection right there and now I'm just going to hit the delete key. And what I did was I just feathered the edges all around that fish. So let me deselect here and let's get in real close. And that is a perfect selection of that fish on a white layer. Now if it wasn't a fish, it, if it was uh, some other uh, uh, object, you could put a, um, a, uh, a drop shadow. Uh, Behind that, um, what I've done, I've gone ahead and done, is I've made a copy of the layer below, and I've got it all black now. And what I'll do is I'll just position that, pretending like it's not a fish, but let's pretend it's some other object. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll go up to filter, uh, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's see. Yeah, that looks about good right there. Uh, here's the Gaussian blur. I got it. Yeah, let's see. That looks good right there. 9.3. Lower the opacity slightly. Okay. Now, what I uh, also like to do is. Uh, because I only want the drop shadow at the bottom. What I'll do is inverse this selection here one more time. I'll go up to the eraser tool and I'm going to erase everything except the shadow that's at the bottom here. So, that's our selection. There's our drop shadow. And um, this is what we started with. And that's what we ended up with. I think they did an excellent job. Good luck. And if you have any questions, write me, email me, catch me in the forums. If you got any requests for any other tutorials and need help, I'm glad to help anyone. Thank you very much.